Hey everyone, welcome, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so glad you're here. Um, well, I'm glad you're here if you're not new here too, but um, please consider liking, subscribing to this channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, today we're going to open a little bit of a Cocoist haul. Um, I did a Cocoist haul on Labor Day. I bought a bunch of stuff in the morning and then by like late afternoon I had regretted not buying more. So I went back and bought a second time. Um, but for whatever reason, the second package arrived today, but the first one's coming tomorrow and I needed to redo my nails. And so I removed my old set, prepped, put on a new set, uh, and these are ready for a new color. I just need to pick my new color and I'm going to pick my new color out of what we get in today's haul. So let's open, I'm opening the bag off camera because it has my name and address on it kind of want to keep that private so uh, that's why this is off to the side for a split second Ooh, it's tight in the bag okay so this is the cocoist packaging i love cocoist it's a japanese company um they do pure gels meaning like everything there's like no added gross chemicals and stuff like that um all soft gels and it's just like the highest quality I love their products. Okay, so just their thank you card, my receipt, I'm gonna put that to the side. And let's open this up. Okay, I got a new brush, we'll look at that together, and a bunch of gels. Is there anything else in here? I doubt it. Okay, so we're just gonna put in all of this. Okay, so I bought their new fall set. It's their Mind Series collection and then a few neutrals. The day I had um, made the order, the reason what spurred me for the second order was Paula Ponce had put out a video where she showed off her favorite like white based colors. And I had been going back and forth all morning on getting white based colors because I don't really have a ton. And so then I put the first order in without them. And then she came out with her video and I was like, oh, I have to go back and get them. And so I did. She had also bought the new brush, uh, but she didn't really give much of a tutorial on it. And I really want a very thin, but like medium length liner brush. Whenever the brushes I have from Cocoa, so they're all fantastic, but they're kind of thick. And so you don't get the crispest lines. And I get that a lot of people will like trim their brushes. And I don't like doing that with Cocoist brushes because I'm just nervous. They're just high quality brushes and I don't want to screw them up. Uh, but I have a brush from Shein that I did that to. And it's like my favorite brush now. So maybe, maybe these brushes are thin enough that I don't need to trim them and I'm going to love them. Maybe I do need to trim further. We'll see. Let's let's open this up. Ugh. My utility knife has lost its sharpness and it's just not nearly as effective as it once was. Okay, so this is their like, I forget exactly what it's called, but it's supposed to be like their very thin brush. Let's look at it. Okay, and their new caps are like squishy, uh, so they don't fall off as easily. Come on, come on cap. Ugh, I'm just gonna rip this open. I just woke up from a nap, so I'm a little like woozy still. Okay. Um, let me just first, I love these new caps, like they're silicone and they really like squeeze the brush. What I currently have are these caps, they're metal and they're fine, but sometimes they don't fit and sometimes they pop off too quickly. So this is nice. This is like a really nice texture too. Okay. So now let's look at the brush itself. Okay, let's compare it to uh, the detailer from Nell Thoughts. Okay, so first of all, it's much longer. 
and it is thinner. I've beaten the Snail Thoughts brush up a lot. It's nice though. Um, I'm already sensing that I will like this new brush. Let me get out some swatch sticks. Sorry guys. Okay. So first thing I want to do is I want to break in the brush. Someone had commented in my previous video like how do I condition my brushes so that when I pop them out of their um, top it, they're so easy to work with. Um, and the way I condition them is going to be the same way I break them in so it's just gonna, I'm just going to show you. So I first kind of want to break the starch binding that all new brushes have on it. So I'm going to do that. I can already tell that like I almost wish this was a little thinner than it is. But to condition it, I'm just going to take some top coat. You can also use any clear gel. Um, Cocoist has a product called Art Clear Zero, which is just their, you know, base formula for all their colors uh, without the color added. It's just clear. And then you just do 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 and this will clean brushes too so oftentimes to clean a brush i either just take a non uh, lint wipe and wipe it down or i'll use a clear gel to clean it out and cocoist has a cleaning gel that doesn't have any of the chemicals that would uh cure in a lamp that people often use for cleaning their brushes too. So I'm looking right now for the blackest black from Cocoa West. This is a very popular black used for detailing. Why did I move my palette to the side? So I'm just gonna take a little out with this brush. I'm gonna load up the brush. Okay. And what I'm going to do too, is I'm going to get the swatch ready for being used. Um, I like to do my Frenchies on top coat. I saw it as a TikTok hack and it works well for me. So we're going to get that top coated for a Frenchie. And while that's curing, why don't I open some of these? So, Cocoist comes in these teeny tiny pots. <laughs> I think it's like four grams a pot. But a little bit goes a very long way with Cocoist. Like a little bit goes very far. Um... And because you're using a pot, not a bottle, you're going to scrape the whole thing. Sometimes with bottles, you can't get all the product out. But if you're like me and you're shameless, you will tip a bottle upside down to get everything out. Okay, so we'll put the mine cave to the side for a minute. We'll come back to that in a second. All right, now let's try doing a little Frenchy maybe, just to see. does make for a nice, thin, cohesive line. I will say that. I 
I think I'm gonna have to like play with it for a bit more to decide how I not play but like try it a few times to really decide how I feel but let's do like a, a squiggle Mm, I do like this. It's nice. You get some nice lines with it. And it's long. And so the length really absorbs some of my shaky hand because I'm not a professional and so I don't have the most refined skills. But it's nice to use for sure. Just put my hand in gel. Awesome. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Happy enough. Cool. Mm. It's easy. It's easy to do artwork with it. Okay, so how do I keep my brush nice and supple? Just take a non-lent wipe and I wipe it <laughs> and I get the color out. Uh, and then I want to make sure all of the little brushy brushies are together. So I go in with some clear gel and I just swirl it through, swirl it right through some clear gel. I like that when the brush has um, liquid in it, when it has gel in it, it all is like one pointed brush. When you dry it out with the non-white, the lint-free wipes, you start seeing separation of the bristles, but you don't see that um, when you're painting with it. And if I do, you know what? I think I'm gonna start cutting up my brushes because I need them to work for me. Okay, so I'll throw that in the lamp so it cures. Again, I really love this really soft cap. And it doesn't squish up the liner. That's nice. Let me show you what um, I've been using from Shein. And again, I'm happy with what I got from Shein, actually. I'm not mad at this brush at all. But I had to chop this brush quite a bit. And if you see, yeah, the the one I have from Shein, I made thinner. It is thinner. But the Cocoist one is longer. So I guess we'll have to see if I need to cut the Cocoist one over time. But I like this length a lot. I like that a lot. Oh, you know what I want to compare it to? My Passat brush. I really like my Passat. My Passat is a great drawing brush. Let's compare this to my Passat. Oh, it's longer than my Passat. Interesting. But I think that they're equal thickness and I do like my Passat a lot. Hmm. Okay, we'll see how this treats me over time. I'm optimistic about this brush. Like I said, like Cocos has such great brushes. Oh, I should throw this in the lamp just so I don't have wet gel swirling about my space. Okay, now on to painting some swatches. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with these whites, these white bases, and do them in numerical order. So, let's see. I also have my swatch sticks ready to go. Let me find... The right swatch sticks. I should have been more organized, but you know, life happens.
And one of the things I want to do too, I don't want to just swatch these. I want to swatch these so that I can have these to put on my bottles, my pots, I should say. I try to do all of my pots are currently swatched. And so because I have to use a brush to, to do these colors, I figure I might as well, you know, do one brush. Mm, I don't want to use this brush today. I want a rounded brush. Um, what am I trying to say? Perfect. Um, yeah, this is ready to go. Also, if I need to deep clean my brushes, I bought the Meath Milo cleaner and it's phenomenal. So that's another recommendation. But sorry, I'm all over the place. What I'm trying to say is that I don't want to dirty my brush twice. So while it has this product on there, I'm just going to do both swatches. Okay, so let's see if I can get this metal thing up quick and easy. It's working with me. Okay, so I'm gonna flip that right there. I'm gonna see if I can get the paint off of this to use. You're supposed to use gloves. I should say that I am not a professional. I am an amateur. I do nail stuff for fun. So you don't have to do what I do because what I do is probably wrong. Okay, so this is called Ivory Cream and it looks pretty. It definitely looks creamy. And this is what I mean. A little bit goes such a long way with Cocoa West. That's nice. Oh, that's so nice. That's perfect. That's such a lovely white, like an off-white linen color. It has kind of like a very subtle, subtle, subtle yellow hue to it. It's delightful. Okay, and let's do one of these little thingies. Pretty. And this needs to cure for... 20 seconds. Let me clean this off. <laughs> Ooh, Sally struggles. And then just take one of these little thingy mahoosies and I put it right in the upper right hand corner of the pot top the jar lid and then it's ready for me okay I mean this probably wouldn't need this doesn't need a second coat but I do not let it self level so it has a streak I bet if I had let it self level the streak would have just remedied itself but I did not wait so we're gonna do a second coat I can see how this is just such a useful color. It has such a pretty soft, like, yellowy tint to it. Like, I would almost want to categorize this as a yellow, but it's definitely not. It's a white. Like, when you look at it from there, it's definitely a white. The other thing I love about Cocoa West is that it has a 20 second cure time. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh no, there's a little green in this from a previous use. I gotta clean that out because that's gonna corrupt this pot. I think I got it. Okay. Let me wipe that down entirely. Okay. So I'm gonna top coat this. This is just like a very inexpensive top coat I got on Amazon that I used to swoop top coat my swatch sticks because there's no need to use my good stuff on swatch sticks and now we're gonna pop 
this off. And ta da! Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Next one Royal Milk Tea. is going to be a satisfying one. Oh yeah. One fell swoop. Got this whole thing lifted. Yes. I love when that happens. So satisfying. Okay. This is gorgeous. This has like, um, oh my God. It's almost pink, but then beige, like mauve-y. I love that color. That's beautiful. That is gorgeous. Wow, wow, wow. And now let's do this little swatch right here. Okay, let's put those in for 20 seconds. It shows better on this swatch than the other swatch, but it's beautiful. This is a really pretty color. It's a gorgeous, like, neutral. That's so nice. Again, I'm going to wipe off this brush. Let's top coat this. Let's put this on the pot. Okay, linen off white. Okay, yeah, definitely like an off white. I have maxi white and bluey white from cocoists and that's my, those are like my white whites this is has like a grayish undertone to it and so it's a softer white definitely an off white would be great for like just, I'm just thinking of like when I'm doing some nail sets and like one nail you need a more neutral background so that way you can do some stuff on top of it you know and some nails might have a really bright color background these are great for the those nails that you need a more neutral background you know these are great this is what I needed in my collection
I mean, Cocoa West is so opaque. I don't think I would need a second coat on this, but I always do a second coat. So just for continuity purposes, I'm going to do a second coat. It's so lovely to apply because it's like the perfect amount of creaminess without being too creamy. Like it's not pudding. It self levels beautifully. But it doesn't fly everywhere. You know, it's super well pigmented. Mm, you can tell that this brush is holding a little of that off white. But that's okay. So let's top coat this. It's funny because this does remind me of linen pants. go to the gr chiffon grayish. I don't think this is going to have such a white base but it's still like a gray neutral and I love grays. I'm a millennial. Millennials love the color gray. Don't ask me why. We just do. Get all the color off of this topper. Oh my God, there was so much color on that. Okay. I love it. It has like a slight sheerness to it. The color uh, number is E200S. With Cocoa West, whenever you see the S, it means that it has a shared quality to it. And this definitely does. It's very nice. More on the gray side. But that's not surprising for a color that's called Chiffon Grayish. So yeah, this isn't a white base, but it's still lovely. It's a neutral. Nice, nice, nice. And when you do two coats of the chiffon grayish, it builds up and it's opaque. But it's it it feels still like really light, like it doesn't feel thick when you do multiple coats. Um, it feels nice. Okay. So, let me do a little bit of this to clean this brush off. I'm going to switch brushes because the Mine Cave series is next. And that has glitter in it. And so I want to use my glitter brush. I have a dedicated brush for glitter gels. Okay. So 
me top coat this now. Okay. So here these are. And then here are these swatches for the first three. The third one's in the lamp still. Pull it out just for now so we can see. These are lovely. I think I'm like obsessed with this color, the Royal Milk Tea. I think that's so pretty. I love neutrals. Like, I do. I'm so boring <laughs> on my own nails. I love doing like wild sets. Like, this isn't wild, but like, this is a fun set for fall, like as a press on set that like, I just either give away or just have. I love doing sets like this. Like, here's another one I did. Um, but this would be too busy on my hands. Like I wouldn't be able to look down and focus if that was on my hands, <laughs> but I love painting them. Love, love, love painting them. Okay. I'm going to do these mine caves next. So let's put these in numerical order. Okay. The Mine Cave series. I'm interested in this. I wasn't going to buy the whole thing. I don't know why I did. It was kind of like an impulse buy. <laughs> I was like, ah, if I'm already buying more than I need, if I'm already going back a second time to buy stuff, I might as well just get something for the sake of fun. Okay. So the first one in this Mine Cave series is called Red Bean Quartz. Alrighty. Mm, this one's giving me a fight. Okay. All right. This brush is feeling a little stiff. I wonder what's going on here. Oh, this brush is stiff. Why? Why is this brush stiff? And what's on the underside of this? Okay. I need a different brush. This is going to need to get cleaned. I don't know what's going on with this brush right now. But it's stiff and it needs to get cleaned out. That's going to bum me out. Like this is like really, oh, it's, it's loosening up now. Okay. Let's try it again. That's weird. I don't usually have stiff brushes like that. But it's really cool to look into this pot and just see these flakes like floating around. Okay, this brush needs a deep clean. Let me finish just doing this color on a swatch, on these swatches, and then I'm going to switch brushes for the rest of the series. So it's a gold sheer color. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, you might want to stir the pot, but everything seems well suspended in the mix to me. So I'm not bothering to swirl this pot right now. Oh, I need to do that. Mm-hmm. 
that's prettier than I thought it would be. I didn't think I'd like that too much. But it is a pretty red. It is pretty. Hmm. Okay. Either way, though, it's going into cure. And this brush needs a deep clean. I'm sorry, brush, but you're a little under the weather. Mm, let me try cleaning a little bit more. subtle it's a subtle color I don't know if the camera will pick it up but like yeah it's pretty it's fine okay let me find a better brush Are you better? We'll see. We'll see how you do. Okay. Oh, hold on a second. I'm sorry. I want to load this with clear a little bit and break it in just a little because it's been out of commission for a bit. There's a weird wonky hair hanging up that I'm going to take out one hair bent out of shape you can usually just dip this into boiling water and it'll get all the hairs back into shape but i don't have a pot of boiling water down here so i'm just gonna trim it since it was only one okay all right this one's blackberry quartz It looks like a little has spilled out of this pot, which is very bizarre for Coke West. I have over two, maybe 200 colors from them. And I've never once seen that happen. So that's a rare, rare anomaly. Yep, this color does strike me as like a blackberry compote <laughs> with glitter added. Oh, that looks nice when it's built up. It's a bit thick. It has like a really purpley um, hue to it. Which blackberries are more purple when you just like take the juice out. That's 
pretty. Okay, so for whatever reason, this brush is a little stiff too. I don't know why, but it's better than the last one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna get out the brush cleaner from Coco West. This thing's almost emptied, but I have a backup one somewhere. Woo, too much, too much. And we're just gonna clean these puppies thoroughly. Just get them mm, loading up and moving about. Okay, let's see how it works going forward now that I've done a big swirly of the clear gel. This is pretty too. All right. All right. Next we have smoky quartz. I'm not gonna lie. This is the one I'm looking forward to most. I love gray. And when I was originally looking at the set, I thought I was only going to be buying this color, but then the impulse to buy them all kicked in. <laughs> so I bought them all. Okay. I almost feel like this has like a deep green hue to it, which I love, but we'll see what happens when I apply. If it really is that way. think that there's a lot of clear on this brush so it's hard to load the color on. It's subtle. The gray is subtle. More subtle than I would think. But let's keep going. Because the blackberry one on the second coat, the color came through nicely. Oh, this is coming through nice too on one coat. I think that maybe I had too much clear on the brush. I don't know, we're gonna have to see. Well, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be doing this right now, not just sitting here staring at the wall. Okay, let's just keep going. Okay, And then we're gonna do this. 
you can't really see how dark it is, how gray it is on, on this one because the black background, but I can see it on the swatch. Okay. Next up is Mocha Quartz. Oh, where am I going with that? Okay. It's like a lighter purple, I feel like. Mocha, I would think it's brown, but it feels almost purpley. Oh, it's like a purple brown. That's what it's coming through as right now. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, I forgot to swatch this. Wow. I'm like spacing out all of a sudden. That broke off poorly. Interesting. Let me get my little cutters. That has like a more pastel -y vibe, I would think and feel. Okay. Let's do the teal granite. Let's see, let's see about you, Mr. Teal. This one's resisting. Come on, work with me. Work with me. 
There we go. Okay. Oh, this is a pretty blue, we can tell already. Oh, that's very pretty. Throw that in for 20 seconds. Yeah, no, oh. <laughs> they touched inside the, the lamp. And see where it touched in the lamp. They're easy to top coat despite all the glitter embedded in. They don't feel, I haven't touched the surface yet, but just from applying top coat, they don't feel chunky. So that's nice. Yeah. The tail really, teal color really pops. And now mine granite, let's see. wants to go. Okay. Reminds me of sand. <laughs> it really reminds me of sand. Okay, I need to get all of this off the side. It'll drive me nuts if I don't. There it goes. Okay.
It's pretty. It does remind me of sand. <laughs> I feel like this one and the tail one would like lend itself nicely to a water like beachy theme set. Okay, so let's bring all of these mine series back. You can't really tell so much on the bottle how they look because of the black background. But we do have some swatch sticks. So here's what we did earlier. But now we're going to pull out the mine cave. So that is the red beans, the blackberry. That is pretty. It's prettier than I think I gave it credit for. The smoky quartz. That's delicate, actually. The mocha quartz. That is very delicate. That's very pretty. I didn't give that enough recognition either. Teal. That's fun. And then the mine granite. This is more of a brown, I feel like. And so that's the mine series. I don't know how well you can see it on a pink background. Let me see if I can lift this up for you. They're pretty. Now that I see them all together like this, they are pretty for sure. Um, they're very lovely actually. It's going to be hard for me to choose which one I want to do. I like a lot of these. This is going to be hard. I'm going to have to decide this offline. <sighs> Stay tuned for future videos so you can know which color I end up putting on my nails. But thank you for joining.